Well, hello again, how are you going? Welcome back to Cruise Away with Derek and Joe. We're here on Gecko every day, don't you know? Remember, at 10 in the morning as well as 1 and 4 in the afternoon. So pop in on a regular basis and come and see us. Now, do you fancy some cruising fun with the family over in Europe? Yes, please. Yeah, absolutely. Always the answer is yes. Well, this show has the dream deal you've been looking for. It has. We are setting sail on the Carnival Legend and Miracle on three exciting packages for next year and into 2026. And remember that planning now means you lock in a brilliant price tag with plenty of time for budgeting. We're cruising out of the UK, so get ready for some exciting adventures. Yes, we've got a British Isles cruise which covers all four nations coming up and Icelandic treasures to seek out on a trip for May. First, though, we'll look forward to June in 2026, which is a long way off, mm. but we can do a deposit today, so don't worry. It's a two-week Northern Europe trip, and it starts by flying over from Sydney to London to check into a hotel for three nights. Now, it's a fantastic time of year to be in London as well because you're sort of spring into the cusp of the start of summer so pretty up and down but pretty good weather and it's before the main tourists arrive into London so you're not spending so much time kind of waiting around in queues to see the attractions which is brilliant I would suggest taking a river bus ride just like those people are there up and down the Thames you can see all of the bridges St Paul's Big Ben the London Eye the Tower of London you could see it all from that vantage point it's wonderful you'll have three fabulous nights there before you head down to Dover down on the southeast coast of the UK to join the Carnival Legend yes. uh, for a nine night cruise now um, Carnival Legend fantastic of course fun 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 I mean this ship has fun written all over it actually and not too many cruises uh, go out of the UK from Carnival so this is a very very special uh, itinerary which lots of Brits I know are looking forward yeah. to as well yeah and she's just been upgraded actually in May 2024 so you know improved refreshed reinvigorated reimagined you have the new chef's table restaurant and a big new poolside movie screen for dive in movies which is a really fun evening activity they do um, you know lots of new updates in the public areas now when it comes to celebrating carnival I mean they are carnival after all uh, in the title right it should be a little clue they're known for their mega deck parties um, at the open air Lido deck pool area you've got the ship's DJ the cruise director, the entertainment staff. They'll have games, giveaways, line dancers. Uh, this is a role I used to personally do, not on this ship, but I've done it before. It's so much fun um, getting involved and doing some of the game shows too. Like they have the love and marriage game show. They'll have things like Deal or No Deal, for example. You know, everything varies from ship to ship, but these are your game shows that make it kind of infectious fun. And you can win real prizes. So it really is as good as being on the, like the game shows on the TV yeah, because yeah. you can end up winning things as well, which is super Superb. Uh, make sure you get involved in the parades as well with the Dr. Zeus characters because uh, that will be super, super exciting. All your carnival favourites are on board. The Lido, of course, guys. Burger joints, we talk about that all the time. Lots of speciality dining. Your Punchline, a comedy club is on board as well. The fun shops are all there, including a Build-A-Bear workshop. Oh, yes. yes. I, I want my own Derek Bear. Uh, you, well, you can make it next time you're on a carnival <laughs> ship. Uh, the Blue Iguana Tequila Bar is also amazing for slushy tequila drinks, Mexican beers, special Mexican beer cocktail. Um, that's going to be fun, isn't it? Punchline is for comedy. Then we are off on our cruise, and we're cruising out of Dover to Le Havre, which is the port for Paris. So you got to do it, haven't you? You've got to take that tour of Paris where you get to see all of the sites, the Notre Dame, the Eiffel Tower, Champs-Élysées. Uh, book an excursion with the ship if you want to make it easy for yourself uh, to get into Paris. Then we are into Zeebrugge, which is the port for Bruges, where you can see this beautiful gilded architecture. You can shop for Belgian chocolates. You can taste the beer, the frites, uh, and the waffles whilst you're there. It's a very enchanting port. Uh, we are next into Copenhagen in Denmark. Mark, home of the beautiful people, home of beautiful sights as well, uh, from those lovely fishing boats to the coloured houses and the famous uh, Hans Christian Andersen Little Mermaid statue at the port. Uh, you're sure to fall in love with Copenhagen, that's for sure. Vanamunda is next. This is actually the port for Berlin, so you might want to head into Berlin. It's very easy to do by train or shore excursion. But Vanamunda itself, you've got to see these uh, lovely little kind of, they're almost like deck chairs on the beach. They are kind of iconic for this area. Make sure you take a picture. Um, Ahas in Denmark. 
Denmark is next and I tell you what what interesting port to have on your itinerary uh, you've got lots of lovely natural beauty you can learn about the history of the Vikings you can head to some museums there uh, but we don't see this very often often offered on itinerary so it's nice to see something different and here's your overview of course you're flying into London enjoying those days in London before you embark on your adventure taking you through France Belgium Denmark, Germany, the Netherlands, before you disembark in back in Dover and we fly you back to Sydney, Australia. We absolutely do. What a fascinating itinerary as well. I mean, there's so much wonderful culture here um, as well. The chance, for, for instance, to go into Paris, of course, we've been seeing a lot on our screens. If you've been keeping an eye on the Olympics and the Paralympics, of course, but now chance to go into the city and enjoy all of its wonderful sights and sounds. This is such a lovely package. So book it now to lock in your incredible price tags. We include the return flights from Sydney to London. We've got the three night hotel stay in London and your nine night cruise on the Carnival Legend to and from Dover, which goes to France, Belgium, Denmark, Germany, and a call into Amsterdam in the Netherlands as well, which is always an exciting day. Uh, and of course, we'll get you back to Sydney from London let's have a look at our price tag this is such a nice trip around Europe and the stay in London too all of that well under five thousand dollars each so you could think about maybe adding another stay to this somewhere else I mean we could always at the end of this if you fancy flying back into Paris for a few days extra days there uh, and check out Disneyland Paris and the city itself and do more of the attractions we can always build that into the package for you uh, let's have a look at the details to upgrade in terms of the cruise then on the Carnival Legend here um, and there are your prices for Ocean View Balcony and for your suite as well it is a lovely trip and remember we've got lots of these trips to Europe with all the major cruise lines as well so if you ever fancy a sojourn across to Europe uh, we will hook you up with the very very best cruise opportunities because the great thing about cruising in Europe is that we're flying a long way to get there in the first place so a cruise is the effortless part of that because it takes you uh, from place to place, from city to city, from country to country and very diverse regions as well because you've got Northern Europe, uh, you've got the Mediterranean, you've got the Canary Islands, you've got such a, you know, the British Isles, such a diversity of different places that you can go to and cruises can take you to many of those all at the same time. Listen, if you're watching this and you've just been flicking through the channels and stopped, first of all, thank you because it's lovely to talk about holidays, isn't it? Just good news, there's never any bad news here. But maybe you've never cruised before, maybe you've not dipped your toe in the water, pardon the pun. Well, here's what you're missing. When you choose to cruise, you'll experience one of the best value holidays with so much included as standard. Your floating resort will take you to multiple destinations in one trip, where you'll wake up to a new view every day and only have to unpack once. Your ensuite accommodation will have everything you need to feel right at home with a daily service provided by your personal cabin steward. Around the ship, you'll have the opportunity to take part in various activities, which can include quizzes, dance classes, game shows, movie screenings, lectures and much more. If that sounds too much, then feel free to relax, unwind and watch the world go by in a solarium or around one of the pools or even in a hot tub. If you're cruising with a family, then the little ones will be well taken care of with a range of kids clubs available for all ages from morning till late. Plus, no matter the age, everyone can have a thrilling time with rock climbing walls, zip lines, water parks, skating, simulators and even bumper cars. When it comes to food, you'll never go hungry on a cruise, with options available right around the clock. Enjoy fine dining with waiter service in one of the main restaurants, or opt for something more casual in the self-service buffet. There's also snacks and room service available too. And as the sun goes down, that's when the ship really comes to life. Every evening, you'll be spoilt for choice when it comes to entertainment, from Broadway-style shows in the lavish theatre to live music, comedy, karaoke, silent discos, as well as onboard nightclubs allowing you to dance the night away. So, if you want more holiday for less dollar, make sure you choose to cruise. 
So that's why you need to do it. Yes. That's why you need to do it. Listen, most people watching this have done it already and they're just looking for the next one. But if you have never done it before, um, you remember all of our uh, shows are on our YouTube channel as well. So if there's someone else that needs to see that little film that you've just seen, someone that needs kind of, you know, needs their head turning, then just send them to our YouTube channel. All the shows are there. Right, let's take another adventure then, shall we? Yeah, let's do it. To exciting Iceland we go with its incredible geothermal wonders and, of course, the famed Blue Lagoon. Let's fly you over to London on the 14th of May then to start your 18-night holiday with a two-night hotel stay in London. Uh, enjoy taking in all the tourist sites in the city. There's the London Eye right there. South Bank itself is amazing to stroll along. Uh, you've got the Tate Modern, for example, uh, the Tate just across the river too. Lots of the museums are actually free in London. London, like natural history at uh, the V&A Museum. Carnaby Street, you've got, to, you've got to go and see some history there. Uh, then, of course, when it comes to shopping, there's Regent Street, Oxford Street, Covent Garden, Buckingham Palace, just a dizzying amount of incredible landmarks to visit, Big Ben and the Houses of Parliament. You can just spend your time walking around, enjoying and drinking in some incredible history. Then we're down to the port of Dover, to get on board the Carnival Miracle. And you're gonna be doing a 12 night cruise on board the Miracle as well, heading of course to fabulous Iceland. Uh, now this ship is a real favorite amidst the Carnival fleet. And like we mentioned before, it's unusual to see ships coming out of Dover. So just a nice and quite convenient port for you, um, you know, to head down to from London. And when it comes to activities on board, they're awash with everything from line dancing through to shuffleboard, bingo, quiz, table tennis, you name it. Um, and then of course there are the nightly shows that are on offer in the theater and they're all very kind of like Vegas style, full of great costumes, very exciting and vibrant. Um, and there are some that you can actually join in with. Now, something that's really lovely about cruising is that you kind of feel like you're, the staff on board end up becoming part of your extended family. And they even do a cruise show, a ta which will sort of like show you some of the different cultures on board. Usually have about 90 different nationalities in the crew members on board, which is just fascinating, I think. Um, and so you can kind of, you know, learn a little bit about their life on board, which I always find is part and parcel of, of being on a cruise. Um, you know, it, the fun really is infectious on Carnival. One thing I think that's really special that they really highlight is the sailaways. So from every port, they'll have a deck party, kind of a sail away party. People are up there drinking and dancing and just getting involved. And of course, all the while you get to enjoy some spectacular sail outs from these amazing ports of call as the sun's setting a lot of the time on these lovely destinations. Mm. I mean, you really do feel like you are living when you experience that. And of it's course, great. You uh, actually, the more time you spend on one of these cruise ships as well, the more that you think to yourself, oh, I wonder if I could do that. I wonder if I could get a job at sea and spend, you know, a few months sailing around the world. It's it's very, um, you know, it's very intoxicating um, when you're on board, actually. You really, you know, it, it opens your mind to new horizons as well. It must be a great life, actually, you know, traveling uh, around the world. I know the, the guys on board work incredibly hard, but at it the is, same time, it's rich reward, isn't it? it is they're rich they're away from all of the stresses and strains of daily life. They're away from the news channels and everything else. Yeah. Um, you know, th there's something to be said for that, isn't there? Yeah, I mean, I loved my time working at sea and I was fortunate to see all the world as well. So, you know, that is something that you can explore through the magic of cruising um, and, of course, not leave the fun behind with Carnival. It is a big focus on that lovely, hearty food as well. Delicious fare. Um, you know, the, 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 it's one of those ships, one of the few ships where you have a disco open every single night, which is wonderful if you love to boogie. And they do theme nights like 60s and 70s and 80s. Uh, so it's all part of the fun, isn't it? Now we're cruising out of Dover and we're heading straight on over to Belfast in Northern Ireland, uh, where you can see the Giant's Causeway, uh, the Belfast Castle. They also have the Titanic exhibit, uh, lots of raw, natural beauty in this port and very friendly city as well, I have to say. Really love Belfast. Next up, we're into Seisfjordor in Iceland. Now we, of course, are here are at the heart of the fjords of Iceland, uh, where you can see wildlife and scenery, uh, go to explore caves, beautiful nature reserves await you. And of course, there's the history of the amazing Vikings. Next up, it's Akieri. And this is where you can go and visit some hot springs and, and waterfalls and see thousands of years of volcanic activity and lava formation. 
locations. Um, and I recommend booking your tours in these ports so you can get the best out of it. There's also whale watching. Uh, then we are into Grandia Fjordor, one of the oldest settlements on Iceland. Um, and of course, when we, mean, when we mean old, we mean thousands of years of history, Viking history, of course, some of the earliest uh, that we know of which is amazing to learn about whilst you're traveling. Uh, Reykjavik, the capital awaits us next. Now, the famous Blue Lagoon is not too far away and I'd really recommend booking an excursion there because it's unforgettable to bathe in those lush kind of volcanic waters and just feel revitalized. Uh, there's also the geothermal field to visit. Next up, we are into Jaime, uh, where, which is known for its puffins, actually. It's got the world's largest puffin colony and you might want to do a tour uh, to, you know, go and see the sanctuary there or, held, or head to the old farm our, um, volcano indeed. Next up we're into the Orkney Islands, Kirkwall, where you can see um, again some of the lovely castles that this part of the world is known for, uh, or perhaps a little wee dram in the Highland Distillery because of course we're in Scotland and it's known for its amazing whiskey. Now we are back into Dover and you have a further two nights stay there. So this will allow you, uh, well in London actually, so allow you to again get a full flavour of this part of the world and you know finish up some shopping perhaps or anything you want to see that is around London. You've got lots of great places you can visit by train, for example. So here's an overview for you, flying into London, heading off uh, to Belfast, Iceland, finishing up in uh, Scotland and then into London before we fly you home. Fantastic. Uh, and actually, of course, there's been a lot of geothermal activity going on uh, in Iceland recently. Actually, I'm just looking on the day that we're filming this right now. Lava is flowing from a fissure in the ground in a place called Sundhungsnigigar, which is close to the Blue Lagoon as well, and sometimes closes the uh, Blue Lagoon ever, uh, every, every now and again. So actually, one of the tours might take you fairly close to that as well. And if it's still in flow, how exciting that would be. That would just add an extra edge to proceedings, wouldn't it? What a fun adventure with Carnival and what an offer from us here at Cruiserway as well. So flights to and from London included four nights in a hotel in London in all, two nights before and two nights after your 12 night cruise on the Carnival Miracle from Dover, heading up to Iceland and Ireland and the Orkney Islands as well. And that will be a cruise of fun exploration and adventure Oh my word, oh my word, you need to see this. Hello. Hello. Hi. Look at that. Now, not everyone was paying attention there, were they? Some people were just had their head somewhere else, maybe looking at your phone or whatever. But this, this is worth seeing. This is something that you need to be part of. What a fascinating part of the world to go and cruise, to go and explore, to go and see because it's actually really happening. It's almost like, you know, up in Iceland, it's a country that is literally bubbling and flowing. It's like it's alive. It's incredible. Oh my word. And you've got the two stays in London here as well. The iconic city, so many sights and sounds there to enjoy. So many amazing buildings, so many fantastic attractions, wonderful shows to go and see in the West End, amazing shopping uh, to be had. And we've done all of this at under 5,000 bucks. I don't know how either. Listen, take advantage of it. Get it booked as quickly as you possibly can. Here are the upgrades for the cruise part of the holiday to Ocean View, to Balcony and to Suite. Um, remember, you can actually break down the cost of your holiday as well. This is something that everybody needs to know on every package that we show you here at Cruise Away. You can, you can employ something called Travel Pay Later. Now you talk to our team about signing up for it. Very, very easy sign up to an interest-free way of splitting the cost down into six or 12 monthly installments. It means that actually you can you can book a holiday right now and you would be going on that holiday right now and paying for it later or if it's one that's way ahead for instance into 2026 some cruises are even booking into 2027 now um, actually it means that you can um, book it now and then spread that budgeting over a period of time as well uh, interest free just a couple of admin fees very easy to sign up as well and that applies to any of our offers here at cruise away if you want to get them um, kind of sorted 
then speak to the team, but call us if you want to use that. one 312 if you've got any questions uh, about that. Do you know, actually, just talking of Iceland, Joe, they actually have live, I've just noticed, I was just looking on the internet, they actually have live kind of webcams of some of the lava flows in Iceland. Ooh. So you can actually see what's going on right now. Fascinating, but isn't it? I would be looking myself, but I need to concentrate on the show. <laughs> <laughs> they film a lot of movies there too. You'll probably notice, like yeah. you know, when if you're on that um, uh, brilliant itinerary, uh, some places from the movies. They use it a lot for lunar landscapes. You kind of see why, can't you? Oh, it's beautiful. Well, Absolutely. we have a final package for you. Uh, this time around, gives you a 360 degree flavour of all four nations of the British Isles on a carnival legend cruise. Now, our 15 night starts on the 16th of August in 2026. We're flying once more from Sydney over to London for a three night hotel stay in the capital in the height of summer in the UK. So there is a large chance of nice weather or warm weather at least uh, in August, which is wonderful. But you know, London's one of those cities, it doesn't matter so much about the weather, right? Because you've got so much culture, loads of museums anyway, uh, that you can enjoy. But in the height of summer, the gardens are gonna look beautiful. The parks are gonna look amazing, lush and full of life, of course. Uh, you can see the residence of the King. You can, well, you can go to Windsor Castle as well. It's not too far from London uh, by train. Um, and of course, Buckingham Palace. And then there's all of your, you know, well-known iconic landmarks to see and explore then it's time to cruise and we're down to Dover to join the carnival legend for your 10 night cruise brilliant I tell you what um if you've never cruised with carnival carnival before I mean you may well have been on the splendor locally uh, you know, on a cruise not, not too far away from home. So you'd have had a little flavor um, of Carnival. But Carnival over in Europe, I mean, amazing. Such a big, big personality this cruise line has. Remember, it is part of the biggest cruising company in the world. Absolutely no doubt about that. So their investment in fun, in entertainment, in their service offering as well. Everybody has a smile and that becomes infectious yeah everyone's super helpful if you're doing one of these kind of thrill challenges or you've got the kids with you and they want to do the ropes course or whatever the team on board will give them such amazing confidence to go and do that because everyone is included that's the great thing about a carnival cruise is no one is left to one side everyone's part of the good time nobody is left out um, and i think that that always leaves leaves you with a good feel, feeling at the end of a holiday doesn't it yeah it's literally the feeling of mardi gras at sea like if you love a festival if you love a celebration uh, that we have at home it's kind of like transferring that energy but to a cruise vessel but in the best way possible all the good parts of those celebrations um, and that's why we always say the fun is infectious on carnival it's never contrived it just genuinely feels like people are there to really have a good time um, and to experience the best things in life now you've got your mini golfing course there you've got a full spa with tons of treatments on offer like you wouldn't believe uh, fire and ice pedicure hot stone massage Thai poultice massage uh, acupressure you can have tweakments, you can have your hair cut and coloured, there's a barber on board, you know, all of these things they have thought of to make your experience special. So we're cruising out of Dover and our first port we're heading into is Cork in Ireland where you have to head to Blarney Castle and kiss the Blarney Stone. They say it gives you the gift of the gab, you don't need to kiss it Derek, I don't think I need to either, but you need <laughs> to definitely do that because uh, that's a fun experience when you're in Cork. Uh, very charming port of call this one. Then we're into Hollyhead in Wales where you can visit the Isle of Anglesey. It's utter sheer here unadulterated natural beauty this part of the world very unspoilt um, you definitely want to book a tour to, to get the most out of it I'd recommend a boat tour if you can when you are there uh, next up it's Dublin of course capital of Ireland where you can see the you can head to the Guinness storehouse and you actually have your your kind of your face um, imprinted on a uh, pint of Guinness which is very fun or you can head over to St Patrick's Cathedral or uh, Trinity bar of course then it's Liverpool of course this is the home of the Beatles you can do the Beatles tour a lot of people do like to do that the Beatles story um, head to the cave and club or you know um, also see some of the great uh, you know shopping that Liverpool has to offer next up we're into Greenock in Scotland um, for lochs galore or you might want to head to a whiskey dist distillery now this is actually the port for Glasgow uh, which is the city of culture 
and you have the overnight to explore as much as you can of the area and there will be some evening excursions on offer for you as well so speak to the team on board about that uh, Belfast is up next which is a very charming port in Northern Ireland um, it is again full of natural really kind of sweeping views over the coast but you have that Titanic exhibit to visit whilst you're there and downtown Belfast also boasts great shopping Douglas in the Isle of Man is next I've never seen this on a cruise itinerary so it's really exciting to see it you've got the Isle of Man steam railway which I definitely recommend doing for picturesque views or oh, the Laxey wheel as well which yes. is a big attraction and they have the cats with no tails don't they the Manx cats they do have the Manx cats you might see some of those ones wandering around. Um, I wonder if you can take one home. Do you think I you doubt it. Not so much. It's a long okay. way for it to travel. Yeah, that's very true. Uh, back into Dover then, and that is where we will then fly you back from London back to Sydney, having had a really lovely whistle stop tour right the way around the four nations there from the Emerald Isle to North Wales to Dublin uh, the capital of Ireland over to Liverpool for a little bit of uh, fantastic sun and fun on Merseyside and so much more as well some lovely ports on there that why actually Douglas on the Isle of Man uh, which is just out to the northwest of the UK um, I don't think we have seen it on a cruise itinerary at all before. No. We've been talking about cruise for a long, long time. So that's a, a rare treat on this one. But as I said, so many highlights on this wonderful trip for August and so much included uh, in your price tag as well. Of course, we've got your flight over to London. We've got three nights in a hotel there. And then we've got then your 10 night cruise with Carnival to England, Ireland, Scotland and Wales, plus the Isle of Man and Northern Ireland, both to and from Dover. Uh, you'll love this. Of course, you'll fly back from London as well. We've done this again at an incredible, incredible price tag. Again, that's the relationship that we have here at Cruise Away with the cruise lines, with the airlines, with the hotels around the world as well. That's how we've managed to achieve a price tag again at just under $5,000 per person. Person. But I have to say, it's not one of Carnival's bigger ships that you are on this time, so less places. There are a lot of Brits already logged on and booked in for this cruise as well, so I would be quick as you can to book. Here are the upgrades if you would like to upgrade, if they're still available, those ocean view and balcony uh, upgrades, talk to the team on 1300 412 358 uh, and we'll talk to you about the availability. Um, bear in mind, by the way, that our parent company Dreamlines are international. We have a base in the UK. We other, have other bases in Europe as well. The reason I tell you that is that we are booking cruises on behalf of many different nations, many different countries, and that means we have that absolutely guilt-edged relationship with every single one of the major cruise lines because, of course, we are incentivized to... Um, to well actually what we do is we do deals with the cruise lines and we say okay right we will promise we will fill your ship to this capacity so now you do us a deal and that's that's how it works we shake hands on those deals all of the time and here at cruise away you really just reap the rewards of that it's as simple as that without the extra booking fees that's it we have to go i'm afraid time has run out again thank you joe thank, thank you, you for your company see you back here soon bye for now